Hello everybody, it's me, Lindsay Rogers, or Lindsay Star, and welcome back to the Wrestling Fan Vlog. Anyway, I do want to talk to you guys about All Elite Wrestling, and I don't know what's going on, but I was about to make this video, I forgot to release it, then I just realized that I had watched, in, that I watched uh, Dynamite 8, you know, like, trying to find out what's going on Twitter, and I had to watch an hour of it because I was also watching another show, and that's not good for me, but I need to make sure that I'm watching the this, this show. But anyway, there's some things that happened, and then things were not happening. So, first of all, there was, was the debut of Coco Bella at All Elite Wrestling Dynamite, and that's a good thing. Now, I know most of you guys are saying, why is Cole Cabana in AEW Dynamite? Well, actually, he was originally being in Ring of Honor. Or, there was supposed to be a multi-year, just him doing commentary and sometimes let him wrestle. But things got out of control and Cole was released. He did not resign. Anyway, that let him be free. Yeah, you know, anywhere he wants, and it was revealed that last week, I think, that he was joining uh, All Elite Wrestling, and it's been, well, actually it happened, it was announced at the pay-per-view, but anyway, Colt's now All Elite Wrestling, he debuted uh, this past Wednesday, really happy to see him, and now, I know there's some other things. Lance Hoyt, a.k.a. Lance Archer, he was nowhere to be seen. I thought that this week was supposed to be, oopsie, I thought this week was supposed to him debuting. It did not happen. Wondering why. Something tells me that whatever Jake the Snake Roberts showed up for, may be alluring that he could be bringing out Lance Hoyt. You know, we'll have to wait until next week to see if that's happening. Although some other people think it could be Brody Lee. I am not 100% sure about that because I haven't heard about Brody Lee. But it was supposed to be that this, that this past Wednesday was supposed to be the debuting of Lance Hoyt. Hoy, aka Lance Archer, and Lance Archer, aka Lance Hoy. Eh, you know, I'm just screwing myself up. You guys know who I'm talking about. Anyway, Lance Archer has not been Lance Hoy. I always call him Lance Hoy because I know him as Lance Hoy. Lance Hoy has not debuted for All Elite Wrestling, and I don't know why or how. So, there you guys go. I don't know what's going on. The weird thing is about is about uh is Jake the Snake Roberts. So we'll have to find out next week. And we we'll to see who's coming out, either Brody Lee or Lance Hoyt. And I'm thinking Lance Hoyt. So who knows? Anyway, uh let's see. What else? Uh hmm. Let's see. Also happening at All Elite Wrestling. Uh, there's a possibility that <coughs> MJF may be going after John Moxley. Although, I don't think, although the inner circle is not done with him. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. At, at, but, it's safe to say that uh, the What's going on with um the the that storyline is really kind of questioning. But all I can say is yeah, I know these are spoilers. I forgot to mention that, but I just really want to get things out of the way because of this, and also because I have stupid fights. Okay, sorry. I'm just a little freaked out because we have flies and haven't done anything much about them yet. Anyway, sorry, 
about that. All right, so where am I? Right, we're talking about all the wrestling spoilers, some spoilers and stuff. Anyway, so I'm not sure what's going to be happening. I noticed there were some things been changed. Uh, stuff was happening. Apparently, I don't know what's the whole entire situation is going on there. I think some people are feeling like AEW is starting to uh, mislead in their advertising. And that's kind of a little bit bad, but, I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, um, so truth be told, it, oh, um, I don't know what's going on with the changes. Um, hopefully, you know, the only thing was weird enough was no Nick Jackson and no Kenny Omega. I don't know what's the, the, the situation with Kenny, but... For Nick, I think his wife gone into labor. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why Kenny didn't show up. That's weird. Unless there's something I have to do with. Uh, visa issues. I don't know. <sighs> Although, anyway, um, uh, the other thing is Matt Hardy. Ay, ay, ay. Let's talk about him. So, apparently, everybody, I'm gonna put my opinion about this and. I will say that this is going to be the most craziest situation ever, but apparently um, people are wondering about the Dark Orders, there's Exalted One. Not 100% sure what's going on with that. It is very questionable about it, but I don't know who's behind that, but, well, t I mean, I don't know why this is... I don't know why the dark quarter's been happening, but I mean, they're saying that they're saying that they might be coming. I mean, Ryan Sutton had pointed that out, although there are people who learned that because since Matt Hardy had dropped in a teaser, and it turns out that Matt Hardy was trying to do he had a YouTube series called Free the Deletion uh, sorry Free the Delete and apparently uh, it was trending on t on YouTube I mean look you know um, oof. it was trending on uh, YouTube as of yesterday or the day before um Apparently, so is, uh, so is, uh, oh, wow. I know it's Friday, but AEW is definitely trending the video. And it has to deal with Jake the St. Roberts, but, yeah, I noticed that. It was trending here, I think it was a couple of days ago. And it's from. It was on here. So they must have removed it. Yikes. Anyway. It was from Matt Hardy. Um. Hang on, give me a moment, give me a moment. Uh. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> Apparently. 
off of Matt Hardy's YouTube channel, which you guys can check it out. Apparently, ooh, it, apparently this is somewhat of a little spoiler, but if you haven't checked out uh, Free to the Elite episode 10, which is, the, I believe it's the last one, it says for the preparation. Apparently in the video, it you know, Matt is on the phone um, talking to somebody. They, which apparently that alerts to what happened on the latest being the elite, uh, which apparently Nick and Matt were on the, f um, I think it was Matt on the phone talking to somebody and I think it has to do, and, and it turns out it was somebody named Gus and they, and Matt tells his brother Nick they have to make a pit stop and it turns out that. And it talks about what happened with Matt, um, because of what happened during, uh, WWE. Um, anyway, there's some other parts in the video, especially Matt playing with his sons. Him writing something over and over. And him building a cross, us, which I can... Which I am looking at the video. Um, I can link it if you guys want to see it. Um, and then if him carrying it, it. Um, I feel like this is what I seen, read about. Anyway, Matt sees the ground, but apparently, then shows up a car that pulls in to uh, the Hardy compound. Matt is, and it's a, and somebody is driving, look like a, a Lincoln. And it's not a town car if you had the Lincoln. Something else. It looks like, I don't know, could be a Cadillac. And up pops Nick and Matt Jackson. And Matt says, I can't, even though I can't say it. I'm not letting his voice, but you think, but I can say it. I, he says, Fucks of youth, I knew you'd come. And that's the ending of the video. And which apparently it's a lord that Matt Hardy is coming to all elite wrestling. I am not sure about this, but it's a possibility that he is coming to all elite wrestling. But as for his brother, uh, Jeff, apparently, because when I looked into this, I see Jeff. Um, Jeff, apparently, this is on Duddy on Fox. Uh, I guess this is definitely deals with Duddy. Uh, it says here, Jeff Hardy on his turn. I will be di I'll be different. So, I guess he'll come in to Duddy. Da -da -da -da. Hopefully, it been him better, but I'm not sure what this is about. But I haven't heard about this. But it might be if he's coming back to da -da -da -da, he may be going after uh Randy Orton and probably mention of his brother, their Matt. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I guess, but. Anyway, um, so, the other thing I also want to address is about Impact Wrestling and the hacker, and I was about to have this video go live, but then, I guess Madison got her, in her, uh, Twitter account back, but when was, I found out Madison Rain got her Twitter account hacked, the hacker was leaving some, said something like in binary that somebody found out it was translated to uh March seventeenth and uh the hacker said even though he though they had Madison that she's not the target but somebody else is which is um really really gonna make me think and there might be somebody else. But my thoughts about this as and apparently the hacker is also leading to uh a um another Twitter account and even though it makes me think about what happened with Ninja being hacked 
<laughs> and they made a video. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> There's a gamer known as Ninja. He made a, a video about about his uh that he posted up on th on his TikTok that he talked about hackers, and what I saw what happened to Madison Rain. Yeah, he was right. But apparently Madison got her uh account back. But even though I tried to report it as some as somebody to ha hack in this, but this is really. Impact Wrestling, and what I smell of sensing of this, I smell a dirty rat, and the dirty rat name is Sammy Callahan. Uh, the reason why I'm believing that Sammy is hacking, is doing this, is because, and the target might be Tesla Blanchard, and the reason why I'm saying this, I know most of you guys are probably thinking, why on earth it has to be Sammy Callahan? And why is he targeting Tessa? Well, it's because Tessa beat Sammy, despite there was some little controversy. But apparently, Tessa beat Sammy. Uh, she got the uh, Impact World Heavyweight title. And now I'm seeing this hacking situation. Reality is lost. That this is definitely Sammy Callahan. And why are you guys thinking, why is this Sammy Callahan? Well, to be honest with you, this also has to do with, with uh, WWE. <laughs> yeah, to be honest with you guys, I know this is Sammy Callahan. is because Sammy tried to do this gimmick of being a hacker in for WWE NXT. Um, I can tell because he had tweeted binary um he does some and it was supposed to be some kind of hacking gimmick that didn't go well because they did not go through with this and they didn't have nothing much for sammy so when he got released uh and i guess that's what happened uh, so impact wrestling is might be taking sammy's ideal and turning this into reality so this is a possibility that Sammy Callahan is definitely behind this. Because I know that there was binary had to be involved. Uh, you know, this hacking stuff. The reality is lost probably has to deal with Sammy handling the uh, lost, losing the championship belt to a woman. So, I'm starting, this all is starting to make a lot of sense to me. The... I mean, I try to get information out of my friend Carrie through DM. She doesn't know. Uh, but I am putting, I'm thinking that this is the whole entire hacking situation is Sammy Callahan. Although they, there was another thing that said, I see you. And I don't know what that means, but, but I mean, and then of course there was the QR codes, which apparently it does not do well if it's in video format. I mean, I tried using the a a uh with a QR uh code and it was not doing well. So, to truth be told, hold, yeah, that's hacker situation. This that's leading to reality is lost is definitely Sammy Callahan. I'm. And it's because of what happened. And plus, apparently, they, um, you know, Sammy was acting so weird after him losing the title to Tessa Blanchard. So, I am 100% sure that this is all Tess, this is all Sammy Callahan, and he wants to, and he wants a rematch against Tessa. Although, I thought that. Uh, he would, but I guess that didn't happen, so who knows? Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about all the topics I talk about. about. Um, before I go, one more thing. Okay? Um, there are a lot of things that are happening towards uh, all um, 
towards this whole entire situation, especially within the independent scene. Um, I just really want to address that. I'm supposed to be focusing on that as, as much as all wrestling, but, you know, now everything is, like, getting mixed into this. Anyway, um... Oh, right. Oh, why am I... I mean, I f we both follow each other. Jeez. Um. Anyway, um, it looks like... Well, one thing I do want to mention, I don't know, I'm going to try to think about doing this, but I may be going to... I may want to check out some wrestling events, but... I don't know. If you guys are around the, uh, yeah, if you guys are around the New Jersey area, um, like I am, there's two shows are happening, um, Sideshow Pro, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm, really, they do follow me? Huh. They have a, uh, show coming. I don't know where this is. Oh, Voorhees. Ooh, we're in Voorhees. The Coliseum. Hmm. That, uh, Sideshow Pro is having a, uh, wrestling show. Uh, a door battle. Jeff Cannonball versus Stockade versus my favorite wrestler, Tim Donst. And apparently, also, uh, sh um, Sean Henderson's Happily Ever After is happening on April 4th in Williamstown. It was also featuring, um, he, you want to check this guy out. He's at Save Us Sean on Twitter. And he just tweeted off, like, a couple of days ago that there was a, two matches being changed. Which, I don't know, I think I should check this out, but then again, I don't know, it's just my appearance that just makes me freaked out. Anyway, uh, thank you all for hearing me out. Um, please make sure to hit that like button down below. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I really want to get to 100 subscribers by hopefully the end of this year. Because so far I have 10 and now I just need 90 more of you guys, okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Till then. Bye.